When a spring is loaded, what happens? When we load a spring, we are applying a force on it. Due to this force, the spring will be extended. That is, there will be an elongation. If the applied force is small, then the elongation would be also small. Also, if the applied force is large, then the elongation would also be large. So, depending upon the force applied on the spring, we can get different values of elongations and this force is proportional to the elongation. Let's take a spring loaded with a mass m which is kept on a smooth frictionless table. Now, if you pull the body in one direction, there will be an extension in the spring because the spring is disturbed. When this happens, the spring will react in such a way that the body is pulled back. That means there will be a restoring force developed within the spring. Also, the restoring force will be acting in a direction opposite to that of the extension produced. So, we can write F proportional to minus X. That is F is equal to minus K into X where k is the proportionality constant called spring constant or stiffness of a spring. Now, let us get to know the relevance of stiffness k. When you have a light spring, the value of k will be very small. Whereas, if it is a very heavy spring, then the value of k will be very large. So, by looking at the values of k, we can say whether the spring is lighter one or a heavier one. Now, let's get back to the equation f is equal to minus kx. That is, k is equal to f by x where f is the restoring force and x is the extension. So, we can define k that is stiffness of a spring is the restoring force per unit extension. We have f is equal to minus kx. Also, we know that f is equal to m into a where acceleration a is equal to d square x by dt square. So, f is equal to m into d square x by dt square. That is, f is equal to m into d square x by dt square, which is equal to minus kx. Also, from the equation of simple harmonic motion, we have d square x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x. So, substituting in the above equation, we can write f is equal to m into minus omega square into x is equal to minus kx. That is, m into minus omega square x is equal to minus kx. Therefore, omega square is equal to k by m. That is, omega is equal to square root of k divided by m, where k is the spring constant and m is the mass of the body. We will now form an equation for the period of this motion. We know that t is equal to 2 pi by omega. Therefore, substituting we have t is equal to 2 pi divided by square root of k by m. That is t is equal to 2 pi into square root of m by k. This will be the natural period of vibration. Since the system vibrates freely, this frequency is called natural frequency and we know that f is equal to 1 by t. Therefore, f is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of k by m.